This is your two-minute update here on MSUSpartans.com. I'm your host, Dave Ellis. Every NFL draft since 1967 has featured Michigan State Spartans being taken by NFL teams, and more of them heard their name on the final day. Deion Sims will be headed to South Beach as the 106th overall pick in the fourth round by Miami. He'll compete with new free agent acquisition Dustin Keller for the job with the Dolphins. Their starting tight end from last season, Anthony Fasano, is now in Kansas City. William Golston will be in a stadium he got familiar with in the 2012 Outback Bowl. The junior defensive end was selected later on in the fourth round with the 126th pick by Tampa Bay. Baseball hoping to build on their opening win over Purdue, down 1-0 in the fourth. Blaze Salter took care of that with one swing of the bat. His third home run of the season made it 1-1. It stayed that way until the top of the sixth when the Boilers started picking up runs at an alarming clip. Ten in the final four innings were too much for the Spartans to overcome, despite scoring themselves in each of the last three innings. If we keep playing late in the ball game, we have a chance to win that game. Um, you know, but uh, just couldn't stop the bleeding. If we keep the twos to ones and the, yeah. you know, catch a fly ball and do a couple other things, you know, with that game as well within reach. Softball hoping for a better start in their second game against Illinois. They managed to push some runs across early in the bottom of the first. They worked Kylie Hopkins to third. Sarah Bowling got her home with a two-out RBI double to open the scoring. In the third, Jamie O'Brien turned on a 2-1 pitch in the opening at-bat of the inning and drove it over the left field fence. Her sixth dinger of the year tied for the team lead, but that 2-0 lead evaporated in the last three innings. The Illini used some Spartan mistakes to blow the game open. You know, we played really well early. I thought Illinois did a much better job of adjusting to the situation than we did. And then and then the game just got away from us. We just, um, as of late, haven't pitched it as well as we're going to need to pitch it to be successful. Highlights from the final day of baseball and softball in their weekend series on our next show. That's your two-minute update. I'm Dave Ellis. You give us two minutes, we'll give you the Spartans.